Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Ethan and welcome back to more Orspawn! Today, we're getting that big sword, the Big Bertha. Is that what it's called? E. Big Bertha. Yeah, Big Bertha. One episode. As you can see, I've got all the eggs ready here. I'm pretty sure I got everything I need. Uh, I got it out of the... I'll show you guys on the way out. But first of all, I gotta explain something real quick. So, in my foolish, foolish state that I was in after being up really late... I accidentally loaded this world with uh, Minecraft 1.7.10, um, not with the mod, so I lost all of the modded items, uh, including my armor and these things. So what I had to do was, I just I just went ahead, I jumped into creative and I got myself, I don't have everything back, I just gave myself the armor and these three things back. Um, down here wasn't affected, I think some of it was. But uh, up there was definitely affected. Um, all of the egg chests were empty. So I've been AFKing here for the last, I don't know, hour or two. Waiting for the eggs to build up so I could get one of each of these. But these are all the eggs that I think we need to get the Big Bertha. So let's try and do it in like under 10 minutes. That should be really, really cool. But yeah, guys, I'm going to go get set up. I'll be right back. And we're going to get ourselves some big ass sword. Alrighty guys, so for those of you who aren't following the series, this is exactly what I've done. I've got two Easter bunnies here, which I found from dry eggs, which I don't have any of to show you guys because of my mess up with the mod. But uh, basically, it looks like this. If you go Easter bunny, you gotta look for these in like extreme hills biomes. I've only got two Easter bunnies, and they've just managed to fill these chests up with pretty much every egg you're ever gonna need. Look, more Easter bunny eggs. How great is that? <laughs> I plan to build a really big Easter Bunny thing uh, eventually, but yeah, either way, once you've got all this set up, you just have to wait until you have one of all the correct types of eggs. Don't forget that you need an ultimate sword, and of course, I have Ender Block along with the Extreme Torch so you can kill the Kraken. I'll probably do the Kraken last, but uh, we're just going to go, we're going to cycle through the easy ones first. I got two Super Golden Apples and eight normal ones, which will hopefully be enough. If not, your Easter Bunnies do actually give you Golden Apple Cow eggs as well. Which you can use, I just didn't. So let's start off with... Let's go with the Sea Viper. We're just going to plop him down and... Murder his face? Okay, he's going to murder my face. Alright, whatever. Hi, you coming back over here, pal? You're not much of a Sea Viper since you're kicking my ass when I'm on land. Alright, so the Sea Viper's down. We're going to do this really quickly. Alright. So I don't want any of his junk. I just want the tongue... To go in the place of the sea viper egg. So let's go with the large... This guy could be a little bit of a problem. Come on. Come on, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Don't hit me. Oh, yes! Okay, brilliant. That wasn't a problem at all. Those things could be a problem because they take your items. So throw that out. And throw this out. I'm not going to keep any of their drops. I don't really need them. I'm just going to try and harvest each one as quickly as possible. Uh, oh, no, don't. Don't do that. There's a crack in one. Vortex is up next. Shouldn't be too difficult to kill. Uh, I'm pretty sure she's really weak. Yep. So the Easter Bunny is really cool in the sense that it saves you having to go to the Crystal Dimension. Which is really annoying. Um, you guys know that you can't take any items into the Crystal Dimension. Unless, of course, you use a girlfriend to transport some. But that's not really very advantageous either. Because there's still only one item you can take. Don't drop me into other gear. I don't want to pick up other stuff. Damn it. He did. He made me pick up other stuff. Duh. Okay, it's all good. Alright, so we're going to go get the T-Rex tooth over here. Um, where is it? Oh dear. What? Don't tell me I didn't get the T-Rex tooth. I killed it. Where's my T-Rex tooth? Aha! <laughs> I was going to say, I've only brought one of every egg because that makes my inventory look awesome for the video. So if something goes wrong and I don't get everything that I need, that will be really frustrating. Okay, that's, this is really irritating. Whoa, this guy's tough. Okay, I forgot about this. But the Caterkill is actually a bit of a beast. Um, ultimate Bow. Recommended, pals. Ultimate Bow it up. Um, I'm going to jump one of these. And he's got me here, so... But I was hoping that my Chainsaw would actually do a lot of damage to him. And it does. It does because I can handle his hits. So... Doesn't count as a sword to do that with. Okay, i got to push him back a little. Push him back a little. And, alright, now I'm out of this. Um... 
And I don't know what you're doing. You're attacking other mobs for some reason. Oh no, this is a problem. Serious, serious problem here. Hello, can you stop please? Okay, he's stuck. And he's taking constant damage. And you did! Alright, now I just have to get out of this annoyance. Um, okay, so we got some ruby boots there. That's pretty cool. So the caterpillar drops alright stuff, I think. Uh, if you're a lower level anyway, and you can manage to kill it somehow. It's pretty tough. I'm guessing his jaw is down here somewhere. Um, hello? He dropped an ultimate bow? Whoa, he's so worth killing? Wow, guys, if you can, like, get enough arrows together when you're, like, before you have ultimate gear and just somehow kill that guy, that could be really good to, like, get started with. That was awesome. I got another ultimate bow now. That was really easy to kill, too. So, put that down there. I don't need that. I'm going to keep this ultimate bow, even though I said I was going to throw away all the drops. I'm going to keep this one really quickly. Alrighty, guys. It's time to wreck some more face. This next one, I'm a little bit worried about. The basilisk could be a serious problem. These things are not cool. Shoot, 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 shoot. Ha, 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 ha. They're not strong, but um, the weakness that they hit you with can be a serious problem. Because they're quick... And the cooldown on a bow's hit. Alright, okay, I think we're getting there. We're getting there. Yeah, 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 we got him now. Alright, we got him. We got him. Wait, is he still there? Yeah, there he is. Alright, he's just not on my indicator. See how the, the slowness that you get off these things when they look at you is just... It's disgust. Ah! Alright. I'm glad we I'm glad we got through that one. Ah, that's really irritating though. Um, ah, the scale's right in the middle. Alright, throw that away. Put the scale there. Don't need that. Alright, so we've only had to use one apple, and that was only because I doubted myself. Uh, the nightmare I'm a little bit worried about. Jumpy bug is ain't nothing but a bang. This guy is not a real... Oh! He did a jump, guys. Oh! You wanna go, me? You wanna go? Are these guys uh, native to swamp biomes, so they're actually a bit of a hassle to fight if you do fight them in the swamp biome. Uh, just because they jump over the water and they jump into water and things like that and if they jump near you and you get knocked into the water then obviously you're going to get slowed down and it's just a hassle really to be honest alright we got him down got that guy down easy enough uh, Amethyst is their game and the jumpy bug leg was my aim don't even need that block alright put that down there Mothra easy enough right Mothra is a fool if he thinks he can fight me yeah, that's right. That's why, Mothwa. Alright, I only need one. So let's chuck these others away. Uh, moth scale armor is something that I used quite a while ago. I'm starting to create a mess here in drops, which is a bit of a problem. Let's move on up over here a bit. Uh, what do we got next? Sea monster. Don't know what these guys are like on land, but... Ultimate bow, honestly. Even though the chainsaw hits harder, ultimate bow. Seriously, everything. Ultimate bow. Even when you've got the Bertha, everything ultimate bow. Seriously, Emperor Scorpion. The Molinoid should be pretty straightforward to kill. He's not all that tough. He does make a mess of your terrain, though. So I'm going to push him away over there. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. We're going to get this done in one episode. Not even a problem. I knew that this would be a good thing, too. Like, I'm sure that people on the internet are going to be like, Dude, dude, this is what I needed. Dude, thank you so much, dude. With probably more dudes than that. Um... So we've got the Nightmare and the Emperor Scorpion to go. These guys are ones that I'm not totally cool with fighting. I know, for example, the Nightmare could kill me. Uh, oh, we got a big one too. Damn it. Okay, that's what I was worried about. See, because the Nightmare, like how difficult it is, is all based on how big the Nightmare is that spawns. Believe it or not, this is a big Nightmare too. And he's he's getting distracted by other mobs, which is a really good thing. Um, but if he's gonna knock me around too much, I'm gonna have a seriously hard time. Come on, big girl. Yeah, you kill all the mobs that are spawning for me. Tell you what, you gotta find an Emperor Scorpion and kill that. That would be really handy, mate. Come on. What you got? What you got? Come on. I got you now. I got you now. Is my chainsaw even damaging him, or is it just the bow? Oh, no, wait, that's the, no, that's the fire I'm seeing. The fire is hitting ones. Okay. Man, I hate these things so much. He's going to die over the water, too, at this rate. Alright, now we're in a corner. This might be good. Come on, get them crits. Get them crits. Oh, you got critted? What are you running away? Why are you running away for? Got him. 
Whew. All right, I want the zookeeper shards off this guy. Oh, um, anybody see his tail? Tail? There it is. <laughs> awesome. All right. So, moving on, I guess. <laughs> um, put that there, and the tail goes here. So we've got an emperor scorpion to go, which is oh, there he is. There's the emperor scorpion. I'm gonna grab a sleep, and then we'll continue killing them. Alrighty, so let's finish this up. Let's kill the last lot. I believe we're just killing the ones to make the hilt now. Oh no, Emperor Scorpion. Okay. One more. And then these guys have got good defense. This is my problem with these guys. And they do that. <laughs> they also heal a little bit. Um, these aren't, they're not like difficult. This is just like, oh, that's so perfect. That's so perfect. So perfect. These guys aren't like, they're not difficult, they're just like the Caterkiller and stuff like that. You just stand back and shoot them. It's just that they take so much time to kill that it can be really annoying. Just because, you know, I'm doing this as quickly as I can. This is like Speed Bertha is what we're doing right now. Damn, you got me. Alright, let's push this guy away. The little things that they spawn are really irritating too. I'm so glad that spiderweb is there though. I don't think that'll ever disappear now. So, I'm just going to keep pushing him into the web. Yeah, how you like that? This is what happens when... Oh, his drop's going to fall in the web, though. <sighs> I'm so glad that they've got a little delay on how often this bow can hit. Or it would just be too OP. Uh, oh, that one's stuck. Die. Okay, and kill you. And come on, we're nearly there. We're so close. Oh, get out of my way. All right, where's his tail? There it is. Get a bit of obsidian. Kill that thing. All right, chuck that out. Chuck that out. Chuck that out. Oh, I'm under attack. Whoa, man, those reflexes, eh? All right, chuck that out. And now we got an emperor scorpion. So that is all done. That's all. Oh, I've got to do that thing. But all right, now we just got to kill mantis. That's not difficult at all. Bye. Ah, uh, where is he? Mantis claw. Thank ya. These guys drop more than one, which kind of makes life easy, huh? Uh, Robo Warrior. Now, I'm not 100% sure if this is a guaranteed drop, which I'm a little bit worried about, because I only brought one egg, so it needs to be a guaranteed drop, or I can't really do much, can I? Okay, this isn't working. Why are you stronger than all the others? Huh? You're actually hard to kill. And the delay on me being able to hit you is really bumming me out, dude. Are you gonna get hurt or what? Ow! Dude! You're bad! This guy is bad! Like, compared to all the others, this guy's a badass! He's probably the most annoying to fight so far, and he's ruined my world! Come on, and this is why I didn't do this under my base, because I was gonna do this down where, like, the dragon's gonna be in the dragon cave, but I was like, that's probably not a good idea. Um, so. Oh, yeah, he did drop a ray gun. Okay, maybe it is a guaranteed ray gun. Alright, that, that, that. Okay, we got our ray gun. We don't need us any sand. So, that's pretty great. The best thing about this method, guys, using the Easter bunnies, is the Triffid. Uh, because these things are so hard to find. Hello? I can't remember how to fight these things. No? Okay, I have to be further away or something? How do you kill triffids again? Ah, I can't remember. Okay, so... Right now he's closed, right? So... In order to damage him, I have to walk away? How far away do I have to be? What the... Alright, this is the triffid open. Yep. Okay, and you get one hit every time he opens up, so this might take a minute. Uh, I'm not going to record all of this, and I'm just going to wait for his arms to come down. I'm going to hit him with the sword, and we should be able to continue. Alrighty, last hit on the Triffid. Bang! Yes! Alright, Green Goo. Oh, that's right, you get more than one. Alright, awesome, because there were some other things I wanted to make with this. Awesome, 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 awesome. And I can also... Green Goo can make um, Creeper Repellent, I think it is, which is something I really, really want. So now we got the Hercules Beetle and the Water Dragon and then the Kraken and we'll be done. I don't think I've done this in under 10 minutes, but I like to think that I'm pretty good at this game. <laughs> this is definitely the cheapest and easiest way to get this done. 
These guys can be really dangerous, so I'm going to pop him in the water and hopefully get him up against the land here. No? Okay, I was hoping I could get him stuck. Oh, yeah, here we go. Because I wanted to, yeah, stick him up against that so that he'll stay there and we can just slowly work him down. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And we'll go over and grab his drop after we kill the Watchamajigger. What's that thing called? Let's kill the water dragon. I'm even going to put you in the water. No, I'm not. I can't even do it if I want to. Ow! I didn't know you had knockback. What is it? That frog's just like, I saved you! <laughs> Damn it, frog. You're not dead, so well done, frog. Alright, so we needed the hammer off this guy, I think. So, throw the fish away, throw that away. Need the blue scale and the hammer. So now the last thing we have to do is kill the kraken, which won't be difficult at all because we got ourselves a cephalomodrone. Oh, wait, yes. Okay, there was a reason I was doing the Hercules beetle last. Because I need this for the cephalodrone. Yeah, no, I didn't actually plan that. It just worked out perfectly, though. <laughs> Brilliant. All right, so let's put this here, this here, and this here. Pop this down. Get me a whole lot of this. Pop this. Back up. Hello. Okay, love me. Spawn you. Nah, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I can't get on this thing. Alright, now I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. Okay. Kill it. 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 Without taking me too far from the base. Kill it. Kill it. I gotta go up. 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 He's gone too high. He's gonna, um... He's gonna despawn at the height limit. Please don't. Okay, I'm above you now. Go down. Go down, mate. Go down. Go down. Don't make me get my murder on. Alright, got him. Okay, we have to descend right here. Oh, Cephi. Cephi the drone. The beautiful ice dragon it is. Alright, we're going slowly, slowly, slowly down. Hopefully we're not moving too much, because I don't want to lose the drop again. Don't need slime balls. Um, I can put this back on my bar, and I've got pretty much everything now. It's absolute amaze. Alright, so, Sefi, did you see where it landed? Where did it die, buddy? Okay. Sefi, where did the, um, where did the Kraken die, dude? Oh, here we go. Okay, brilliant. So, there it is, Kraken Tooth. We did it! One episode, everything we need to make the thing, I think. I think this is everything that we need. Awesome! It's time to make the sword. It's time to build our sword. Um, so we're going to go with big. And we're going to click this. And we click that so that we can put everything we need in the right place. So guys, while I'm quickly putting this together, for those of you who are uh, of the greatest memory ever... Who remembers what happened the first time I fought the Kraken? Hey, Season 1. Do you guys remember what happened when I didn't realize that you had to ride a Ceph? Thought Cephalodron was the difficult way to do it, and I got murderized. And, yeah. If you remember, let me know. Comment section below, guys. Comment section below. We've actually done this. Oh my god. And then, you just need the three pieces, right? Yep. Okay, cool. So, one, two, and three. Big Bertha, the Great Sword, Knockback 5, Bane of Arthropods 1, and Fire Aspect 1, the Great Sword that we need to begin our adventure into the darker parts of Orspawn. And now we've got, like, Deathly Long Reach and Opness. We can kill all those monsters really easily for anything that we need. So that's awesome, guys. I'm super excited about that. Alrighty guys, so that is definitely going to have to do it for today's episode. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to procrit that like button and send me some love. You can also share and favorite this episode for extra dexter love. I love it when you love guys. Here's a little sneak preview for next episode. I've done a lot of building in here and I'm going to show you guys around next ep. Of course, if you're looking to talk to me and you've got Twitter, don't forget the uh, hashtag talk with ETH. You can send me messages there, send me fan art, send me anything you need. I will see it and hopefully reply. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.